The diversity of Italy is endless. From the chaos of the squares to the tranquility of the countryside, classic architecture gives way to vineyard landscapes and historic cities. Traveling Italy, you witness firsthand the rich culture, the regional dialects, and the noble simplicity of Italian cuisine. Less understood are the wines that complete the Italian table, and I think that's unfortunate. For me, the wines are an expression of Italy itself, incredibly varied, distinctive in style, and true to their roots and tradition. Salute. When the early Greeks started to colonize Italy, they called it Anotria, the land of wine. That was over 2,000 years ago. Today, this description is as valid as ever. These days, wine is produced in every part of this beautiful country. Italy stands as one of the largest wine producers of the world and home to more grape varieties than any other wine region. This includes scores of native grape varietals, giving them an incredible range of wines and wine styles. Vintages that are as distinct in character as the regions in which they are grown. It's vines everywhere, everywhere. Over the centuries, the best sites and most suitable varietals were cultivated. Wine, like no other agricultural product, is deeply linked to a sense of place and Italy's wine laws reflect this geographic foundation. For a structure like this to last thousands of years, it needs a good foundation. And when we think of the wines of Italy and their classification system, it's built on a similar structure. At the base level, we have Vino di Tavola. These wines can be produced from grapes grown anywhere in the country. As we move up, we have IGT, Indicazione Geografica Tipica. This is the newest classification and most exciting. It allows producers to introduce international varieties and you also find some of the finest wines in this classification. As we move up, we have DOC and DOCG. Dominazione d'origine controllata e garantita. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but what it really means is it's tightly regulated areas. It controls the regions, the types of grapes that are produced, the yield of the grapes, and even the styles that the producers can make. 